And now at 5.05, families in one New Haven neighborhood are frightened and frustrated after a 16-year-old was shot yesterday right across the street from a school. Can you imagine? So the victim is expected to survive, but this is the second time people fired gunshots at that location in the middle of the day. Eyewitnesses reporter Roger Suzanne and Jones is now live from the scene in New Haven. Roger, what are police doing to protect people who live in the area? Well, good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Nicole. Certainly people who live in this area are frustrated about what's going on, and police are responding by increasing patrols. We're talking about uniformed officers as well as plain clothes detectives. And the police chief in New Haven believes that this violence all stems from local teens who simply cannot get along with one another, and they are pulling the trigger, shooting off guns, as you can see in an area that is just right across the street from a local school, which is certainly, I think, one of the most frightening things about this situation. And this all happened yesterday morning, right around 11. Police responded to the St. Martin's townhouses after a drive-by shooting. A 16-year-old boy was struck by a bullet. Now, he is in stable condition at the hospital, but police and neighbors are especially uneasy about this violence because, again, the crime scene is directly across the street from the Mayo Early Learning School. Now, police say the bullets were not fired in the school's direction, but three local schools were placed in lockdown as police investigated. And as Wendell mentioned, this is the second major crime that happened here in broad daylight. Police arrested two juvenile suspects back in April after 23 gunshots were fired outside the Mayo Early Learning Center. And again, the police chief believes all of this violence stems from local teens beefing one, with one another. His message to them is that they are increasing patrols, and he says they will bring the people responsible to justice. But until and unless that happens, people will be on edge. Reporting live in New Haven, I'm Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.